presentation. Um, my first question is for uh, for you, Minister, and uh, you, you actually made a comment a few minutes ago about making sure that we have the right public info out there uh, on the, on the uh, cannabis legislation. The tax force you recommended to the minister to provide that Canadian with that information uh, so that to make sure that they understood the regulatory system. But we heard, um, I think it was last week, if I'm not mistaken, from the Canadian Bar Association and also from other witnesses that right now what many Canadians are hearing is that the cannabis will be completely legal soon, and which is not the case since the bill still maintains a strong criminal regime and many aspects of possession, distribution and cultivation. Uh, cultivation. When your report was done in 2016, the government clearly uh, didn't take the time to properly inform the Canadians. So to ensure that the Canadians are well informed of all the consequences, whether it's health, whether it's law, whether it's otherwise, should the government, in your opinion, delay the legislation to make sure we have the proper information out there uh, to the people? No, uh, and I think you've just heard from my colleague that for other reasons he doesn't think it should be delayed. Let me say that we, we did notice, actually as we began our roundtable discussions across the country, that in fact the commitment of the Government of Canada and the mandate we were given was to engage people on legalization, regulation, and restriction of access. Unfortunately, there were a group of people, and to some extent the media, but not entirely, focused on legal legalization and they forgot about the rest of the mandate but our report is all about actually regulation and quite honestly restricting access especially to young people who today have very easy access to product and nobody knows the quality of that product um, so in fact, I agree that because, for whatever reasons, people chose to focus on only one word of the mandate, our report is embedded in the other two words, restriction and regulation. And uh, public education will be key. Absolutely, and that's why we make that recommendation over and over again in the report. We talk about the importance of public education. That public education has begun. There is a working committee of the federal and provincial uh, officials who are coordinating public education messaging. I think if we go on social media, you see more and more of the public education targeted at young people. We learn from the state of Washington, don't, don't bother with a piece of paper for a young person. Don't go on television. Television. That's not where they live. It is all social media. Washington had to tear up after spending millions of dollars their youth focused uh, education campaign because they did it wrong. And oh, what did they do next? They went and talked to young people to figure out how you actually reach young people. And in today's world, it's through social media, which is why if you go on social media, you will see a lot of that education. Is it enough? Will it ever be enough? No, because uh, public education is an ongoing process and the government all governments Can and just, civil society yeah. need to do more. I don't want to lose all my time. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, no, it's just to follow up on that, exactly where you're at. And maybe, uh, Dr. Uh, Mark Ware, you can re jump in if you, feel you need to. But we know that despite the millions of dollars that the government did announce in the budget, Health Canada has only spent 295000 on its official cannabis public education campaign. And actually, that campaign that was targeted especially to the youth only began in March of 2018. So the concern here is last year, you know, they said that Canada should boost spending on intensive public education to make sure that with the research on the impact of the marijuana uh, and to not wait until 2018. So I'm just wondering, what are the consequences of the legalization cannabis without the youth fully understanding the risks because eventually from what we're seeing here not a lot of the money has come forward and what has come forward has only started in March 2018. Well, well first of all I don't agree that the youth are not understanding what's happening with cannabis. I think they're extremely engaged. They're tracking this as Ms. McClellan says through social media. They're, this is a topic that's in the press almost every single day. It's in the news every single day. It's dominating Twitter and social media platforms. So I think the youth are engaged. They're well aware of what the risks have been. I think they've also been told for, for decades, in fact when some of us were youth, we were told about the harms of cannabis and the dangers and it continued to be used. It continued to be widely used illicitly. 
Um, I think the youth are aware. I think we underestimate their in intelligence and awareness of the issues. And if they're taught and if they're tuning in to messages, including the dialogues in these chambers, including what's being discussed in the public media, there's an opportunity for public education at every single intervention that we do. Every single talk or word that we put out there is going to be heard by young people teaching them that cannabis use is an adult activity, that the longer they delay using cannabis, the more safe it is for their developing brains, teaching them that they should understand the potency and use low These are simple messages. The lower risk cannabis use guidelines published by CAMH, uh, endorsed by multiple medical associations, all speak to the reality of cannabis use by young people and encourage and teach ways to reduce those. Those documents are out there. They're being disseminated. They've been endorsed by the Canadian Medical Association. So I think there is information out there, but it's up to all of us, including parents, including teachers, and including all of us as professionals, to, to distribute this information at every opportunity we have. Senator Lang